Master of Ceremonies, distinguished guests, participants, it is my distinguished honor and pleasure to join you on this very auspicious occasion. Indeed, the search for knowledge is an integral part of the purpose of our existence here on earth. No wonder Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his ultimate wisdom started his glorious revolution, the Quran, with the verse Iqra, meaning read or search for knowledge. I want to congratulate all of you who made it here to the finals and also those who participated in this competition because at the end of the day, we are all winners today. Let me seize this opportunity to thank our partners and sponsors for this program. I want to say thank you to Gambega Company and the Ministry of Basic and Secondary Education for this initiative and for their tenacity to see to the successful completion of such a brilliant program. As for those of you sitting in front of me here today, I salute you for being among the best and the brightest minds of this country, the Gambia. Well, being bright also, unfortunately, does come with its challenges sometimes, especially in a society that can be critical of bright minds with a tendency to celebrate mediocrity. But as one of the brightest minds of all time, the legendary Albert Einstein has taught us, great spirits have always encountered violent opposition from mediocrities. The mediocrities cannot understand it when a man does not thoughtlessly submit to hereditary prejudices, but honestly and courageously uses his intelligence and fulfills the duty to express the results of his thoughts in clear form. I want to advise you to never cower to these mediocre minds that will surely come in your path. But I'll advise you to be courageous, to stand up, to speak up, and to shine your light. As the legendary talk show host Oprah Winfrey would put it, you are built not to shrink down to less, but to blossom into more. Surely she is right. As Allah tells us in the Quran, Surah 13, verse 4, meaning we have created you man in the best of stature therefore as Oprah would advise us every time you suppress some part of yourself or allow others to play you down or small you are in essence ignoring the owner's manual your creator gave you and destroying your own design my good brothers and sisters as you progress in this journey of searching, as you journey in this direction of discovery, do not dismiss your ideas or your hunches. There is an enlightened inner voice yearning to be heard. Always remain curious and do not limit yourself to just observing information that you are taught, but you must rather explore beyond the set boundaries and discover uncharted territories. Go out there and search. Go out there and seek. And wherever you may be, I want to advise you, my brothers and sisters, to always remember that you are Gambians. Be there for this country. This country has, a, has lost a lot of its fine brains. They are out there benefiting other countries in a manner best described by the Mandinka proverb, Sibijan Dubeon being of here but not benefiting your own people rather benefiting other people in distant lands so do not be another number in those sad statistics but remain true to your country remain to you true to your goals and ideals and forever be a patriot indeed this is a blessed country blessed with the great gift of inspired human capital one of the most valuable resources any country can be blessed with Therefore, as we are taught in the Holy Bible, ask and you shall be given, seek, and I repeat, seek and you shall find, and knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Now, my brothers and sisters, I want to admonish you to remain true to yourselves, to be courageous in search of excellence. Now, go ahead, do this for the Gambia, our beloved motherland. And wherever you are, forever and ever, remain to the Gambia ever true. Thank you for your kind attention.